Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about some Canvas updates that Canes have made to the PCB Editor tools. This update came at the 17.2 release and allows users to customise the screen to suit their own personal needs. Um, so the, we'll go through things like the Visibility tab. We can, we can click on the Visibility tab, the Options tab, the Find tab. These windows are now dockable, um, more, more dockable than they ever used to be. I mean, I mean, I can obviously drag these windows around. These can still be dragged onto a second monitor if need be. Um, but they can be docked anywhere, kind of from a, this, this blue highlight is showing me anywhere I can kind of dock the windows to suit. I can also overlay windows on top of other windows. So what we'll start, we'll put the visibility pane over here. We'll actually put the, the find pane and we then get this kind of this tabbed approach that allows us to do this. But we can also dock multiple windows into the area. So if you wanted to have the three windows one on top of another, you could do that here as well. Options pane I probably want at the top. Visibility pane, and you can just drag the bar where the visibility name is to kind of move it around to suit. Um, we can also detach things like the view window, the command window, which gives us a bigger working area. All the taskbars along the bottom can be turned on and off now, so we can start to kind of, you know, let's let's disable things like the active class and subclass. Let's disable things like the the active command, and you can modify this to suit as you required. All the icons now are a bit more easier to move around. Um, the drag handles, they, they can collapse the icons. You can move the icons around. You'll get this kind of blue bar to say where you're going to put the icons from that point of view. And you can also customize these icon bars or these toolbars to suit. If we go to the, um, so under an AllCAD space, it's a set up more customized toolbar menu. I've got the ability, obviously, to turn these, these, these icons on and off. I can create my own custom toolbar. So let's call, uh, call this one Steve. And then once I have my toolbar Steve, I can then go to the commands, pick the Steve toolbar, and then I can add any command that I want to this, to this toolbar. So we can pick any icon, and it would then add, say, let's add the options menu. Let's go and look for the tools. Uh, let's have a look at tools, utilities, keyboard commands, alias functions, for example. So you can pretty much add any, any command you want into your own personalized icon. Once it's there, um, I can then obviously see what the command is, click on there and I'll actually get the alias command running. I can click on there and get the keyboard commands coming up. Um, I can click on here and get the options menu showing. Okay.